Hi, today we're going to show how to change your whole house filter. So the first step, um, this is what it would look like in your mechanical room. Um, but the first step is going to be you're going to want a five gallon bucket or some kind of big bucket that you're going to want to put underneath it because it will um, drip some water when you're doing this. Um, then you're going to have two valves here. You're going to have to first turn them off. So you're going to turn one off and then you're going to want to turn your second one off. Then this red button on top is what you're going to want to hit. That's going to release the pressure. When you actually do that, um, you will hear a sound, most likely. Um, then we take our wrench, and we're going to put that on. This is going to be tight, so you're going to have to uh, get the wrench to loosen it up. Um, once you get it loosened up there, you'll be able to hand loosen it the rest of the way. This is a little bit looser than it, it would be ideally in your house. And when you're doing this, you're gonna have water that's dripping down into your bucket, so that's why you've got your bucket there. You take it down, and then this is the filter that's gonna be inside that you take out. Um, obviously, this is a brand new filter, but your filter would, would be wet and would probably have some sediment in there. So then um, you just dump any water out that you had in there, take your new filter, Set that new filter in. Now one thing, if you can notice, there's an, whoop, there it goes, there's an o-ring that sits in that filter. You'd want to take this o-ring and probably put a little bit of, uh, if you've got Vaseline at home, the guys use faucet grease when they're out in the field and actually doing this for you. But if you take a little Vaseline, put Vaseline on the o-ring, put the o-ring back in carefully. There's a little groove that it goes in. So you get that in, have your filter in, and then you put it back in, and you're just going to tighten it, tighten it back up. Do it by hand here first, then you're going to take your wrench, and you're going to want to tighten it. This needs to be really tight, otherwise you will have leaks. So tighten it. And when you think you've got it tight enough, tighten it a little bit more. So you want it to be tight, okay? So once you've got that done, then the next step is turning your water back on. Now you don't wanna just flip these valves really fast. You wanna put the, the pressure back on with the water slowly. So if you do this one first, this is what goes into the filter. If you had any leaks, it's gonna start leaking now. So, um, Obviously, if you had a leak, turn it back off. Most likely, either that O-ring isn't in there securely or it's just not tight enough. So that would be what you check. So you turn this on slowly, and then you're going to turn this other one on slowly. And then the next thing to note is you'll probably have a little bit of air in your lines. So when you go to turn a faucet on, you might have a little bit of sputtering um, where it'll have a little bit of air in the line that it's got to release but otherwise that is how to change your whole house filter.